Hello there, you're welcome to His Gov TV. My name is Colin Nanaya Abebrese. In this video, we are going to look at or discuss the uh, reasons uh, for the overthrow of uh, Dr. Hila Liman two years after he was made, uh, of course, president of the Republic of Ghana. Now, bear in mind that uh, Liman came into the scene in 1979 after the house cleaning exercise of uh, Jerry John uh, Rollins. And I'll be doing a video on the house cleaning exercise as well. You can come back and check. Now, um, the man won about 61% of the vote as against uh, Victor Owusu in July of 1979. And that made uh, the man uh, the winner in that election. During our short stay in power, I've demonstrated openly what many people had only suspected before, namely that the holding of office in government in this country had in almost all cases been used to plunder the wealth of the nation. Ghana is looking up to you. Thank you. Now that the people of Ghana have democratically elected me to the, their president, I call on all in the true spirit of patriotism to come together as one united country determined to solve the many and difficult problems facing us. The man ruled from 1979 to, 70, uh, to 1980, and then 1981, uh, Dr. Helen Liman was overthrown by Jerry John Rollins in a bloodless coup, even though it was the same uh, Rollins who um, handed over power to Liman. And then this same uh, person came back to overthrow Liman. So we are going to look at some of the reasons for that led to the overthrow of Dr. Um, Hila Liman by Jerry John Rollins. Now, the first of these um, factors had to do with Lehman's inability to fight um, corruption. You know, when you look at how the, the, the AFRC, led by uh, Rawlings, fought corruption in that uh, radical manner, killing people who were perceived to be um, corrupt, people felt that Lehman should have uh, continued, but that was not the case. Now, a major problem was how the PNP, and that's Lehman's party, uh, continued the house cleaning exercise. But that was started by the AFRC, uh, and to uproot for bribery and corruption in the society. Now, the government found itself in a different political setting. That's constitutional administration. Therefore, it became very difficult for the PNP, or Lehman government, to carry out that instant of justice that we saw and in the AFRC, like a uh, flogging of people, for confiscation of goods, as well as seizing of assets and all of that. Now, which the past of the military had carried on. So, Lehman couldn't go the military way. So, therefore, corruption and other malpractices started to roll back into the system. And people for criticized the Lehman government for not doing anything about the corruption. And with this, I, most often I don't blame these for president, because in our history, uh, from Nkrumah up to date, no uh, president has been able to overcome corruption or whatsoever. No, not even the current president who has appointed a special for prosecutor, blah blah blah. Nobody has been able to fight, of course, corruption, and it is still a problem. Now, the next of the uh, reason for Lehman's overthrow was the low cocoa uh, prices. You know, cocoa farmers are very important to the economy of this country. And bear in mind that uh, our major um, source of income as a country has to do with um, selling cocoa or exporting cocoa beans. Now, the country was also beset with difficulties in the cocoa industry. Now, with the world uh, price fixed at 1,200 per ton by June 1980, the government had no alternative than to pay lower uh, prices the farmers and the farmers became discontent with this sort of development and some 
um, farmers started to smuggle cocoa to neighboring countries for, you know, um, higher uh, prices. Now, therefore, the earnings from cocoa, the mainstay of the economy, therefore dwindled. You know, the issue of cocoa is so, is so, is so, is so, is so, is so, is so complicated because even I, 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 even today, cocoa at the world price are sold very, very cheap. And I recall uh, Cote d'Ivoire and Ghana coming together to um, form some sort of alliance to, you know, demand for a higher pay in the world market. So what happens is that when the world market, you know, reduces the price of cocoa or the price of cocoa for dwindles, it affects our public, you know, accounts or pairs because that is where we, of course, the country, get a lot of for revenue. So when it becomes like that, you, the leader or the president, will find it very difficult to get, you know, uh, money to, to do other stuff. Now, there was also another important uh, reason for that led to the fall of Liman. And this, of course, had to do with some power struggle. Now, Liman was um, surrounded by CPP old guards, of course, such as of course, Anabe Queen, um, Kojobo Chiu, uh, Kojo Bacha, and, and Dr. Kumi, who were all eager to have a stake in the administration of the country as a reward for their investment in Le Mans what, election. Don't forget the CPP was banned. Uh, of course, the CCP um, had been banned in 1960. So most of these old guys about the CPP, they had all, you know, left and joined other parties. So they, these people that I have mentioned were in there to make sure that they get something from, of course, from helping a Liman to win. Now, therefore, Liman was not, of course, Liman was handicapped by not having the freedom okay, to operate as an executive or president. But for the worst thing was that there was a power struggle in the party, especially on the death of Imoro Igala, who was then the party chairman. Therefore, instead of paying attention to the country's problem, the PNP was rather wasting time in solving leadership struggles and, and people felt that that was not the right thing to do. And I think if, if these are, of course, reasons why we overthrow a president, then today look at how the NPP, ba Baumia and Co. You know, Baumia is a president, but he's, you know, uh, he's all over the, pre uh, of course, the place, you know, uh, um, campaigning. So one who asked when uh, does he get time for the work of Ghana or to do the work of Ghana? Now, the next important thing also um, had to do with uh, brain drain was one of the reasons for the overflow of Abuzia uh, also was about the brain drain. Now, the issue of the brain drain had not come, I mean, it didn't come during the day of Abuzia. It had been there after in Chroma, you know. And so the situation was very, 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 very um, for compelling. Now, the brain drain is when for workers, you know, decide to leave the country because of poor economic performance of the country. And I think even today, many Ghanaians may want to leave the country because of poor economic performance. And we saw a video that the CNN did about the nurses. So most of these are professionals, teachers, nurses, and doctors. A lot of them um, travel to Nigeria to seek for uh, greener pastures due to low uh, wages and salaries. And this affected the public service. You know, there was a shortage of qualified and skilled personnel. The next one that I think, the last one for the overthrow of Buzi also had to do with our Rawlings' ambition. For Rawlings and friends felt that they could redeem the people from the uh, hopelessness they experienced, you know. And so, of course, uh, Rawlings and his friends also appointed the government, the PNP government, which was operating under a constitutional rule to behave like a military uh, regime, you know. Uh, arresting people, uh, for punishing them, doing all kinds of things, like how the AFRC did this. But they had lost, I mean, the sight of the fact that this was a constitutional government, and therefore things of course, had to be taken into consideration. They had to take them to court and all of that. So the personal ambition, as people would say, uh, for Rawlings to be the head of state again also may have accounted for his overthrow of Buzia, because uh, really there was no sense in overthrowing um, an elected, of course, uh, president for that this two period, I mean, two years. I mean, come on. Anyway, so thank you for your time. This is all that we have for you. 
on the overthrow of uh, Buzia, I sorry, on the overthrow of uh, Leman. And so uh, we will urge you to subscribe to our channel and share our links to us. Well, let's hear your view in the comment section about Dr. Hilary Leman.